this clip, I'm going to try and demonstrate the displacement of a less reactive halogen by a more reactive halogen. I'm going to generate chlorine gas by reacting uh, hydrochloric acid with manganese dioxide. Then I'm going to bubble the chlorine gas through potassium bromide solution and potassium iodide solution. The reaction between hydrochloric acid and manganese dioxide generates chlorine gas. Sometimes it needs to be heated a little bit to get the gas to come off. test to see if chlorine gas is being produced by seeing if it bleaches some damp blue litmus paper. I'm going to see it's already going red, so I think there's some chlorine gas coming through. So when I bubble the chlorine gas through some potassium bromide solution, See that solution is turning yellow to eventually orange. And now if I bubble it through some potassium iodide solution, you can see the solution is going brown. To try and show that the halogen has been produced, I'm going to add some cyclohexane to both tubes. Cyclohexane is immiscible with the aqueous solution. And if I now shake them, and we look at the colour of the cyclohexane layer there on top, cyclohexane is less dense. We can see it's an orange colour, and that indicates that bromine has been produced. If we do the same with the potassium iodide, Let it settle. Again, you might be able to see that we have a purple colour at the top there. That purple colour indicates that iodine has been produced in this reaction. So the chlorine has displaced bromine from bromides here and iodine from iodides there.